Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, another video in the In Your Exam series that I've been doing. So today's question comes from the Extension 1 syllabus um, in the Norman Hurst 2025 uh, trial paper. It's a question relating to trig and polynomials. Now, I've seen this question a few times now that makes me think that it's now a thing, right? It used to be in the Extension 2 four unit syllabus primarily, right? But what they've done, right, in a really smart way is cut out the four unit part that relates to complex numbers and just makes it a three unit question. That's still quite hard, quite intense. So I'm going to show you how it looks like. We'll give it a go and see how, you know, see how you uh, react to it. So before I begin, as always, guys, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends and then like the video after you've seen it. All right, let's dive right in. Have a read. So Looks quite straightforward, right? But look at the marks, right? Seven marks for this, right? Quite quite heavy. So um, Norman Hurst boys, so you're given, so I'm given this, right? I don't need to prove that. That's already been given, right? Yeah, sine and cos um, triple. I need to prove this identity, okay? Got four theta there. So one of the things I'm thinking about, you can either go, that's three theta plus theta, or somehow try to manipulate the left. I think I'll try to manipulate, manipulate the left, right? Let's have a look. Next question goes, by letting x equal to that in the quartic equation of that, okay, show that. It feels like I'm going to just use type A and then show, okay. And whenever you've seen these questions before, that looks like um, some indifferent of, of roots, right? Yep, we're going to use polys to attack that. All right, well, let's get started on the first identity. So part one, right? So left-hand side equals a sign for plus cos four. Okay, now let me think. That's cos and sine. Let me make this the subject first, right? So actually, let me off to the side here. Right? Let me make cos cubed the subject. So that's like cos three theta plus three cos theta all over four. Okay. And sine cubed. So sine cubed there, so it'll be like three sine theta minus sine triple all over four. Okay, so what I'm going to do, maybe I'll multiply both sides by sine and cos, right, to get to four. I'm just going to sub these guys. Right, I'll sub these guys both into here and here, right? And I'll hack on another sign. So I'll go that equals to sine theta multiplied by three sine theta minus sine three theta on four. Okay, let me get rid of this arrow. Okay. And then plus. I want to get rid of that because I want to move this. Oops. Hide that and group that. Move this over. Okay. Just give me a bit of space. Okay. Plus. Cos theta. Multiply. So it's cos times cos cubed, right? And cos cubed is cos. 3 theta plus 3 cos all over 4. Yeah, so you get, I'm going to factorize a 4 out, right? Because that's what that quarter there is, right? Good. And I'm hoping everything else sort of comes together. So let's, let's see. I'll take out the quarter. And let's see what's left. So I've got 3 sine squared minus uh, sine triple sine plus cos triple, ah, oh, I can see what's going on, right? Looks like it's compound angles and then plus three cos squared and then I've got sine squared cos squared identity. So I'm going to um, take this guy and this guy and combine that, right? That's just three, yeah? And I'm going to take this guy and this, oh, yes, the whole thing, right? And that's um, cos cos minus sine sine, that's cos double, right? Oh, sorry, that's cos compound. So the green would just be cos 
three theta plus, yeah, because it's a minus, yeah, and it's this three sine squared cos squared, right, which we know is one, and then I got it right, that's the right hand side, perfect. One and four cos four theta plus three, which is the right hand side. Yeah, how's that, guys? Let me just check if she wins. Oh, I want to improve. Yep, perfect. Yep, not too bad. All right. So alternatively, you can split the cos four theta into maybe cos three and yeah, cos three plus you get the same thing, right? Go to the same place. All right. Let's look at part two. So let x equal to that. Okay, so part two. I'll do it over here. So let x equal. So if I start with sine four. Oops. Theta plus cos four theta equals to a quarter cos four theta plus three, right? That's from part one. Uh, yeah, from part one. So let x equal to cos cos four theta. Now, let's see. Now, I know that sine four is, hmm, let me see how I do this actually. Uh, oh, and I'm giving this. So I'm just going to sub. Oh, okay. Yep, yep, yep. What I'll do instead, that's from one. I won't use that yet. I'll use the polynomial that they gave me. Plus eight, one minus x squared, squared equals seven. Okay, I'm just going to sub this, guys. Sub this into the values of x, right? Just to see where that takes me. So I got eight cos four theta plus eight one minus cos squared theta squared seven. Okay, I know that that is sine squared, so that's like eight cos four theta. That's sine squared squared, so that's eight cos so that's sine. All right, squared, no, four now. Theta equals seven. Here's the thing, cos four theta plus sine four theta, seven on eight. Okay, since I proved that cos four plus sine four is that, so I'm gonna sub in um, this um, identity that I proved here. Sub that now into there. And I think that's it, right? Like, I just gotta clean that up, right? Cos four theta plus three goes to seven on eight times the four up, cos four theta plus three. What's that? Uh, seven on two, is it? I'm not approving because of half, is it? Yes, perfect. Okay, therefore, cos four theta equals to a half. Okay. Yeah. Not too bad. Hopefully that was all right. Guys, I won't actually move that. So that's part two. Part two is quite simple. Now, part three is where the four unit or the X four unit, right? So the crosses over with what is now three to mass, right? So the polynomial that I just solved, right, was this guy, right? Equals seven. Yeah, so I've solved that and it goes where x equals to cos theta and cos four theta equals to a half. So what I'm gonna do is, the way you prove this is basically you go, okay, if cos four, if x is a, if x equals cos theta are the solutions to this, polynomial, and I know that cos 4 theta equals a half, I'm going to solve this side, all right? I'm going to solve this guy. This guy here, right, I get 4 theta equals 2 inverse cos. Now, I need four solutions, right? I normally do the four positive ones. And just looking at the the um, percentage, uh, the numbers here, let's see, right? So now I know cos equals a half. When does the cos, cos equal to a half? It equals a half at pi and 3, is it? Pi and 3. Yeah, and using ASTC, right? 
So it's theta and two pi minus theta. So two pi minus that would be what? Five pi on three. Yeah, so that's my first pair. And then I'm gonna just, my first cycle and then I'm just gonna add two pi to get my second cycle, right? So add two pi to that seven pi on three and add six to that, so 11 pi on three. And I'm just gonna divide the four over, right? I get pi on 12. 5 pi on 12, 7 pi on 12, 11 pi on 12. Actually, guys, I'm going to move this up. I need much more space than I have. Okay. Yeah. Now that I've got my four answers, right, you can say, therefore, right, the solutions to this polynomial are x equal to cos, pi on 12, cos 5 pi on 12, cos 7 pi on 12, and cos 11 pi on 12, right? Okay, they're my solutions to the polynomial. Yeah, good. Now, this is where it gets tricky. If I wanted to, right, show you where I'm going with this, right? So recall, if I let this guy here be alpha, beta, gamma, and delta, right? Now, the question wants you to prove, it looks like it's product, square of products, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna use product of roots. So if I go back over here, I know that alpha, if I, this was alpha, beta, gamma, delta, alpha, beta, gamma, delta is gonna be what? A, so, B is one, C, D, E, E on A, right? I think it's positive, yeah? E on A. Now, if that's the case, then what I'm gonna do is later on, I'll expand it to get E on A, but right now, what's clear to me, right? Actually, you know what, maybe I'll do that now. Let me expand this, so I'm just gonna come over here. Now, if I expand this, I get eight X, well, that's four, I think. X four, okay. 8x4 plus 8, 1 minus 2x squared plus x4. 7, bring it to one side, 8x4, right. so 16x4 minus 16x squared plus 8, so plus 1. Okay, so 16x4, so e is 1 and a is 16. Okay, cool. So therefore, Right, in this case, yeah, you get cos, oops, cos pi on 12 times cos 5 pi on 12 times cos 7 pi on 12 times cos 11 pi on 12 equals to E on A, right? That's good so far. Now, if this question was hard, so if this question was meant to be hard but not ridiculous, that would be it, right? Done. But this question, because it's designed to be a bit harder, look at what you have to prove. We're almost there, actually. right? The only difference you see on this side, I've got this one on 16, good. On this side, it only has two odd angles, pi on 12 and 5 pi on 12, right? Pi on 12 and 5 pi on 12. It doesn't have these guys, right? It doesn't have these two. Why? What they've done is that they've used all stations as central and converted these into the first quadrant answers. Because I know that pi on 12 and 5 pi on 12 in the first quadrant. 7 pi on 12 and 11 pi on 12 is in the second quadrant. And in the second quadrant, cos is negative. So what they've done additionally, right, is basically use ASTC to convert these two into the first quadrant, right? So for example, right? Now, you guys know, right? Because zero to pi, that's zero to 180. Anything bigger than pi on two is in the second quadrant. These guys are smaller, so they're good. These guys are bigger. So what they've done is they've said, cos seven pi on 12, in the second quadrant, right? It's pi one, minus 180, right? That's equal to negative cos of pi minus seven pi on 12, which is negative cos five pi on 12. Yeah, in the second quadrant. And similarly, 
cos 11 pi and 12, also in the second quadrant, is equal to negative cos pi minus 11 pi and 12, pi minus 180, right? And that equals to negative cos pi and 12. And when you sub that in, guys, firstly, the negatives cancel out because it's multiplicative. So these negatives cancel out. And then you get cos pi and 12 times cos pi and 12, cos 5 pi and 12 times that. You got it, right? So therefore, cos pi, or cos squared, right? Because there's two of them, pi and 12. Cos squared, 5 pi and 12, equals to 1 and 16. Wow, right? So that little element at the end just makes this question a little bit hard. It's already a hard question, right? Because the concept is a four unit one, right? So let me play that all back, right? We started with an identity, right? Over here. We started with an identity. Yeah, that in itself is not easy, right? Just just gotta um explore a few things with identities, compound angles, etc. Right? Number two, we use that identity and basically subbed in and then got it down to cos four pi on twelve. Oh, oh four, cos four pi equals a half. And then now this is the key, right? This pit here. Firstly, we did like a double substitution. We said let x equal to this green um this green circle here, let x equal to cos. And then because we used part B, right, we solved for four solutions. How do I know it's four solutions? Because it's four theta, right? I need four solutions for theta. And once you've done that, guys, right, you basically got a situation where um let's see, sorry, I'm just lagging a bit. You got four answers for X, which you then set up your products is product of roots, right? Once you start with product of roots, sub in the four roots, and then the very last part, guys, all stations are central. Get rid of the obtuse angles, convert them back to acute, um, and then you have your final answer. Wow, what a question. Hopefully you like that, right? Nice question. Guys, I'm seeing this more and more. Hopefully you will see this or watch this video and then hopefully it'll be in your exams. Thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel, like, like the video and tell your friends. Thank you.